I have no idea what to title this video. Like the shoe label says athletics one basketball. <laughs> like, is it fear of God Adidas basketball one? Like what is the shoe's name? What did it say when you purchased them? I don't know. They took so long to get here that I <laughs> forgot. We should title it the shoe that we thought was going to be made out of completely different oh. materials and colors when we looked at it online. The most expensive useless basketball shoe on the market right now. The most painful toe crushing experience you can have. Bro, if I knew what it felt like to wear high heels, I swear to God, this is it. How many other am titles I, can we shove in Am there? I not supposed to say swear to God or is that okay now? Like, is that, is that, is that cool? They know that I'm just around, like. <laughs> Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on whatever you want to call these. The Fear of God Adidas basketball shoe. The Athletics One, I guess. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know. But either way, we're going to talk about these and how it translates to performance. Because I know that this is a full line through Adidas uh, and in collaboration with Fear of God. So they've got Lifestyle and then this is part of their performance line. To me though, it feels all the same. This doesn't feel like a performance shoe. So I, I really do wonder if anybody wear tested these and uh, who was it? Because it's it's an interesting one. Now, before we deep dive into these guys, we do have a quick word from today's sponsor. Big thank you to Sneaker Dunk for sponsoring today's video. And just in case you're unaware of what Sneaker Dunk actually is, the platform was originally created and launched in Japan way back in 2018. And they quickly became one of Japan's most trusted third-party reselling marketplaces, where they guarantee 100% authentic sneakers, as well as access to a ton of streetwear and even trading cards. Now, Sneaker Dunk is allowing us to give away one of their shoes so they wanted me to go ahead and pick one out so I'm going to actually do that right now they said that I could pick anything so we're actually gonna go way back and I think I'm gonna pick these a lot of people missed out on these myself included so let's go ahead and get these out and over to us I have a package for you and here we go we got a pair of off-white Air Jordan 5s they come just like this so they're gonna come in the appropriate box they come with their own authentication card just in case you were wondering they even have their own sneaker dunk hang tag for authentication and then uh, these guys right here just in case you were wondering this is an overseas release so when you have an overseas release they come with overseas hang tags a little bit different than something in the US and this is actually widely known by the way so in case you're new to sneakers don't get thrown off by something like this but again they guarantee that everything that they sell on their platform is 100% authentic. They even use x-rays to make sure that everything within the shoe is actually there, which helps them guarantee authenticity. They also have other methods and everything like that, but we're not going to give away all their secrets now, are we? So if you wanted to check out Sneaker Dunk and everything that they have to offer, make sure that you use the link down below in our description box. You can also use our promo code, which you can see right here on the screen. It's simply WTesters. You'll get special promo pricing with that coupon. In addition to using our promo code, you'll also get free shipping and everything. So that's a huge plus as well. If you happen to be wanting to slim down your collection and you want to remove some things from your house, which is something I'm actually considering right now, I got just too much stuff. There are currently zero fees for sellers if you wanted to use their platform. So whether you're new to the sneaker scene or you're an established vet and you just wanted to grab something that maybe you've missed on and you didn't want to go through the typical resale platforms, try Sneaker Dunk out. You might find something that you like at a good price. So if you are interested in participating in the giveaway, make sure that you click the link down below in our description box or you can scan the QR code that you see right here. The giveaway does end in two weeks, so don't forget that. So don't like waste your time or anything like that. Like if you're interested in entering, go ahead and do it now. So big thanks again to Sneaker dunk for sponsoring this video uh, make sure that you don't miss out on the giveaway this is a hot shoe right here it's probably my favorite off-white shoe that they've done besides the Air Jordan 2 lows and with that being said uh, before I talk about the shoe uh, the shoe first off was I think it was like $250 if I'm remembering correctly very expensive for performance stuff I understand that there's like Jordan retros and you know foam posits and stuff like that that get up there in price I get it I will say though for the price and for that specialty or novelty kind of feel the package is like insane. I would say that they are overpackaged, but I will also say that in a it's elevated like this feels creme de la creme a la Edgar. they come in this box and this box is just a sleeve why they have a sleeve for the actual box i have no idea but like i said it feels cool on top of that you've got an embossed clean adidas and fear of god logo right there plus the three stripes embossed on the top and then this is one of those like 
that kind of box. Each individual shoe is inside of one of these things. And then when they're inside there, they're wrapped with all of this. And then all of this is wrapped inside of this. That's a lot, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that was just the box. We didn't even get to the product yet. So on one hand, I will say like a little excessive, but at the other side for the price, they didn't pull any punches, you know what I mean? Like you and feel like you got a luxury item. So I really dig that. As far as the shoe goes, as far as basketball goes, which is what apparently they were made for, I just don't feel like this is it. For one, they look very similar to the Fear of God Nike shoe. And I know that they're not identical or anything, but they're very similar. I see a lot of people in the comment sections online everywhere saying that the Nike one was better, this, that, and the other. It's like, bro, this looks like the second version. It looks like you started with that one, then you slimmed it down to this one. You're not wrong. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, Walter. You're just an ass. The outsole right here, very reminiscent, much like the AE1s, how that one had a top-down view that was reminiscent of the Yeezy Basketball. The outsole right here, almost identical. You know what I mean? Like very similar, similar color, similar shape, herringbone, spacing, all that stuff. Do I think that that's going to translate well on court? I don't know. That was my biggest issue with the Yeezy Basketball shoe was the traction, so I hope. But on top of that, this is a full rubber cup sole. This traction is attached to all this rubber. That's an 80s thing. I get that this is paying tribute to heritage and stuff like that, and I get that. I think that's dope, but I think you could do it in a way that's a little bit more modern. And if you're gonna go cup sole, like maybe thin the sidewalls out a little bit so there's some flex. If I were to try this on in store, move around a little bit as if I'm about to do something for basketball, I would take these off and be like, what else you got? This is not it. Like, I don't like it. That's all I'm saying, especially for 250. Now, inside of this chunky cup sole is light strike. Can you feel it? No. Why? Because it can't go anywhere and can't even move. It feels like they made them for casual and they were like, wait, we want to make a basketball shoe too. That's how it feels. Like it just doesn't feel great. You know what I mean? Does the shoe look good? I think it does. Do you think? I don't even know where people's toes are supposed to go in that shoe. But do they look good? <laughs> they look fine. I'm just saying. I didn't even try them on. I watched you try them on and I was like, my feet hurt. Oh, my feet were hurting. It was bad. But they look cool. We had talked about this shoe on our podcast mm -hmm. and when I had looked at that teeny tiny image, I had thought that the toe for sure was like a canvas material. And so I'm curious if this material they slapped on top of everything, if it even stretches okay, so, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so outside of the being disappointed with this chunky ass cup sole that pushes and flexes so weird into your foot and away from your foot in ways that's just not natural for movement, the upper is all coated in plastic. Like, it's like they made a rain boot. That's what I'm saying. Like it's all plastic, bro. And I'm just like, dude, those materials with how f***ed up this sole is and with how caged this upper is with the three stripe logo, you could have made some really nice material choices there, especially at the toe. They could have just let the neoprene breathe. That's a different <laughs> look. That's what I'm saying. Like who made this and called it performance or athletics and was just like, yeah, man, this is it. This is going to be killer. Like this is next gen new wave like for basketball, it's gotta be functional. Now the fit on these guys is where I have the biggest issue with Adidas in general. Their sizing is all over the place, man. Like we're talking about every shoe, every model, every category. You don't know what your size is with Adidas. It's, it's ridiculous at this point. We've been talking about this on this channel specifically for over a decade. So yeah, I put these on in my true size, okay? And first off, the, the shape of this sh it's tapered on both sides, like a high heel shoe, which have we seen old women feet? They nasty, cause they wear like this all day and their toes get pushed to the front to where they can look like a boat. Okay. <laughs> right? The front of the boat, the thing. Like, bro, I'll say that the insole is not bad. It looks like their other but like, it's actually nice. You got a cool microfiber on the top and it's dense. So it's like not a bad insole. This, I wouldn't mind. Like this should have came in the AE1. The AE1 should have came in this. It's just weird, man. I think the lacing looks cool. The lacing structure looks cool. You got a dual lacing setup. So what we've got is the fat rope lacing with a lace lock looks dope. Okay. And then at the collar area, if you wanted additional lockdown, you got this guy with another different lace lock on there. I think that it's really neat. It's just not functional. But sound off below and let me know what you think about these in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. I hope that I didn't offend anybody because I'm just talking about these shoes. I ain't talking about you. I'm not talking about your mom. Okay, I'm just talking about this product. So hopefully you understand that and that we're still cool. He might be talking about your grandma's feet. <laughs> <laughs> they do look like boats though. Like, like the, the front end, like it's all nasty. But anyways, thank you guys for being here. We really do appreciate you. We'll catch y'all on the next one. So until then, have a good one.